Hey guys, Demon Monkey here. I'm here to bring you a video guide for the Reaper Fast Expand, which is so common in the Terran versus Protoss matchup in particular. And so it's only going to be the very introduction to this guide, and let's go ahead and take a jump in and look at what this build order exactly is. So as you can see, 10 out of 11, you go Supply Depot, followed by a Barracks and Refinery on 12, then an Orbital Command and a Reaper, both at 15. And you're going to take your second Command Center at about a 17 out of 19 Supply. I know that was fast. Feel free to go back, pause it at that moment, look back at, um, at that little build order. Uh, little graphic I put together there for you, but we're gonna watch this game that I played here Which basically outlines and sort of shows what this build order is um, in the very very, you know early sense And what I'm gonna do after this is expand on a few different other videos about what uh, Build orders you can branch off from the street for fast expand because this is one of the most common builds uh, We see you know even high-level Koreans and tournaments even you know opening with this and that's that's just how good it is It's a really strong early Scouting and macro build and you just cannot go wrong with it So you see supply depot at 10 out of 11 followed by a very fast barracks at 12 out of 19 And then after that you're gonna delay one worker So you're just gonna stop worker production for a second there on 12 and rush down a refinery as fast as you can. So the barracks and refinery, both on that 12 supply, it's very important that that gets done, followed by some workers heading over into that refinery. So a little bit about the Reaper Fast Expend. You don't have to scout with a worker, so you get to retain you know, all mineral and gas that you could have with that one worker. You get up your second base extremely fast, not as fast as a command center first, but still pretty fast. And you get to know everything your opponent is doing, from proxies to, you know, even if they're just expanding and, you know, if they're going Robotech um, or whether they're going Twilight Council. And that can be so game-changing if you know that information. So you immediately start the Reaper up as soon as the barracks finishes at 15 out of 19 supply, as well as starting up your orbital, just like we said earlier. That's exactly what you want to do uh, for that graphic. Uh, you know that in that graphic that's exactly what you know it talked about the build order and in a second here We'll see that we throw down our command center at 17 out of 19 Our natural command center and so we're going to throw that down as you see the SCV moving out there now And right after that at 18 out of 19 is when you take your second supply depot For those who are curious and go ahead and lift up move over take that uh, take a reactor right after because that's quite important to just get that flowing. But the whole build concept really sort of ends at that second base. Because you just want that early Reaper, you get the second base. I'm extending it a little bit longer here because I want to show you guys up to where you get the bunker. So basically the only other thing is at 18 out of 19 supply, you get your second supply depot. Right after that, with that SCV, you're going to go build the bunker. And we'll see that here in a second. Uh, and basically, you know, just micro the Reaper around a little bit. I'll uh, talk a little bit about in the future videos about what you need to check for with your Reaper. But you want to make sure they don't have three pylons. Uh, or you want to make sure that they have three pylons in their base. Because if they don't, they're proxying you. And so that sort of sums up this quick little build video guide. Thank you all for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe. Whatever. Please feel free to check out the future videos as well. In which we talk about how uh, you can expand off of this Reaper you know, build order and go into the mid game with a strong, you know, advantage because you know what your Protoss opponent has. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you all next time.